Mmm! Okay! Please, everyone, give it up for today's outfit. I'm giving you Bratz Roth Angels. I'm giving you cute little Baker Boy. Hi guys, welcome back to Aisha Renee, the most fabulous, most amazing, most incredible, most brilliant, talented, all of the above channel here on youtube.com. Today we are going to be doing a perfume blind buy haul. I got all of these scents from TJ Maxx, Ross Burlington, aka the perfume plug. If you like wine or any adult beverage or even some water, tea, anything, just pour yourself a quick beverage right now so we can get into this video. By the way, I'm drinking 19 Crimes by Snoop Dogg, one of the best wine brands in my opinion. It'll get you feeling good and great real fast. Um, let's just pour some right now. I'm feeling happy today. I'm in such a good mood today. I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm in these types of moods, I like to take advantage because this is, I just love feeling happy and I love feeling good. And I'm so happy you guys are here hanging out with me today. Ah, I feel like I, if only we could like be together. I just want to be with a bunch of y'all right now, just having fun, drinking wine and smelling some delicious perfumes, which is exactly what we're going to do here today. So, okay. So I have five perfumes here to show you guys and they were all under $20. Can you believe that? $20. I have a couple celebrity perfumes and then just some other random perfumes. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. I actually want to try this one first because I've been... You guys don't even understand. I have been watching perfume videos from sun up to sun down literally for the past few weeks. Just watching all of these people's reviews and um, just... I don't know, I love hearing people talk about perfumes. It's just so interesting to me. I've been wanting to try this perfume right here. This is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. And this is the Eau de Parfum Spray. 3.4 fluid ounce. She looks absolutely gorgeous on this bottle. This was $19.99. I wanted this video to be a true blind buy experience. So we are going to test this out together. Sofia's top notes are blackberry, plum, currant buds. Middle notes are orchid, rose, and violet, and the base notes are woody notes, vanilla, and sandalwood. I'm actually gonna spray this on myself because I haven't put on a perfume yet today, so let's see what this is giving. I'll spray it in the air. Okay, so this right here is literally just, mmm, it's like, it smells like a candle but in a perfume form. Okay, so you for sure get blackberry in this perfume. Like that is what smacks you in the face at first. If you do not like fruity perfumes, you will not like this because the fruit smacks you in the face. But as a fruity lover, give me all the fruits you got. Berry vanilla cozy. You are for sure getting those berries in there. Definitely vanilla. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear that, but they've been outside doing work since about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock this morning. It's about to be almost 4.30. I don't know what they're mowing or what's going on. They're about to have no grass on the lawn if they keep mowing like this, but I'm sorry if you can hear that. It's been very annoying, but anyway. This is just very berry, very warm, very cozy. I think you could definitely get away with wearing this in colder months. I think this is honestly a year-round perfume. Like, I can see myself wearing this to a summer brunch or like some sort of summer function. I'm thinking this is more of a daytime scent, but I would also wear this year round. I would wear this in the winter. This would be a beautiful winter scent, but this would also be good just for all of the seasons, honestly. It doesn't smell as good as I thought it would, but it's not terrible also. So I'm honestly not mad at this perfume at all. I don't, it's not gonna be my favorite perfume ever. It definitely isn't gonna be something I wear every day, but it's definitely like, a perfume I would keep in my collection. I don't think I'm gonna sell this or get rid of this or anything like that. This is definitely something that could stay in my collection. It's just not the first scent I would reach for. You get what I'm saying here? All right, I guess we should stay within the celebrity perfume realm. So next up we have, dun da da da, Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears, a longtime favorite. I used to buy Britney Spears perfumes all the time, but I've been hearing so many good things about Midnight Fantasy and this was only $9.99 from Burlington, and this one, Sophia, was from Burlington too. So we have top notes of plum, sour cherry, and raspberry, middle notes of orchid, iris, and freesia, base notes of vanilla, amber, and musk. Now, when I hear freesia, when I hear raspberry, I'm there. I'm in there like somewhere because 
Freesia to me is just the essence of perfume. It's just, it makes me feel the most fresh and clean. I love Freesia. If I see a scent that has Freesia in it, I'm going straight for it. So let's see. I'm not a fan of overly like sugary, sweet, sweet perfume. So I'm hoping it's not too like sweet, but um, let's just, let's just give it a try. Oh, okay. This is interesting. This is okay. It's like literally fresh, fruity, and sweet at the same time. The first note off rip I get is those sweets and fruits. It's It almost smells like a plum pie. I don't even know if that exists. I've never heard of such thing, but it's giving me like, yeah, it's like desserty sweet, but it's also florally at the same time it's very interesting it's like kind of an eclectic perfume i don't know if anybody else gets that feeling but it's almost like there's a lot like just a cacophony of different things going into this perfume but it works for some reason it almost feels like one of these notes in the perfumes like shouldn't mesh well together but it works and i don't know how to feel about that this is just very 2000s first of all this is very a very 2000 perfume wow i don't think I've, i'm literally at a loss for words because i don't think i've ever smelled something like this before like i'm very i'm very just taken aback i feel like i really need to smell it one more time ah okay so it's like candy it's candy sweet it hits you with like just any candy any sugary artificial candy and then out of nowhere it just freshens up and it's more fruity. It's not as like candy sweet. It's more of a fruity sweet. And then it sits just very calmly at the end. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Again, something I've never really smelled before. So this is very like a new scent for me, but this would definitely be good for the winter. I see, I can see somebody wearing this either, like I said, fresh out of the shower or maybe for like a cute little dinner date with friends. I wouldn't wear this on a date, but this is definitely just like a, it's very cute too. Like it's a very cute scent. This is definitely like a cute college campus girl type of perfume. All right, so the last celebrity perfume here we have is J Lux by Miss Jennifer Lopez. And this was $10.99 from Ross. So again, super inexpensive. This looks very, literally luxe, like very luxurious. It has the zebra print and the black bottle. I'm very interested in what this smells like. Let's get the notes first. Yeah, the more that Britney Spears perfume settles in the air, the more I like it a lot, honestly. All right, so we have notes of pineapple, raspberry, bergamot. Then we have violet orris, yong yong, I think I'm saying that right. Damask rose, base notes of amber, cedar, and musk. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Miss Lopez. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold <laughs> no no guys guys are you are you serious this to me this to me right here is just literally j lux you see that lux this is lux this does not smell like i got this from 10.99 at ross this smells like I picked this up from Sephora and it's chilling right next to the Tom Ford and Maison Margiela perfumes, okay? I literally used to have this best friend in elementary school and her mom used to smell so good. Like every single day she would wear the same perfumes and every time I saw her, she would literally smell the same. This literally smells exactly like what she used to wear. And I'm wondering if she used to wear this perfume. I don't know when this perfume came out, but this literally smells like the perfume that she used to wear. This smells, I can't even describe how this smells to you. It just smells delicious, luxurious, and fancy. This is giving grown woman on her ish. She is just taking herself out on dates. She doesn't need anybody to give her attention. She gives herself attention. She's on the right path of life. Everybody turns their head when she's walking down the street. That's what I get. I get somebody I get someone who has their life together and who is focused and driven and who knows what they want and just smells so good all of the time. Wow, that, okay, this is my favorite so far. It's gonna be hard to top this one because the other two were cute, but this one, 
I might have to go back to the store and get me another bottle because this is literally... Oh my God. I was not expecting that. You saw my genuine reaction. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10. Okay, Jennifer, you did your thing. Okay, so now we have Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. This was $16.99 from TJ Maxx. Notes of May Rose, Vetiver, and Geranium. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. I absolutely love this packaging. This is giving me very much old school perfume vibes. It's giving me a little bit of red door. This is just amazing. I'm a rose lover. I'm a floral lover. I'm hoping it's not like old rose, if you get what I'm trying to say. I hope it's like a modern take on rose. Oh, wow. Wow, this is... This smells very expensive. This is like, hmm. It reminds me of something, but I can't pinpoint it. This is totally and definitely rose and floral. If you do not like florals, you will absolutely not like this scent. I like this. I like this a lot. This is very mature, okay? So this is not for like a cute little teeny bopper. You gotta be a grown woman. You gotta be on your grown and sexy in order to buy this, in order to purchase this. This literally smells like what the bottle looks like. You see how this bottle looks very luxe, very classy, very cute and sophisticated? That's what this smells like to me. This to me is a woman, honestly, late 30s, early 40s, but I don't think, I think that like 20s, 20 year olds and like 30 year olds could wear this, but I feel like somebody in their 40s or, or, or late 30s might gravitate towards this because it's kind of, I feel like this would remind them of what their mom or what their grandma used to wear, but it's very modern. It's not modern like it just came out yesterday, but it's modern enough to where you could still wear it today and it doesn't smell outdated. It's not like a Chanel number no. five where it's like, whoa, this is very, very old school. It's old school. And I don't know when this was made, but it smells very old school, but it's very wearable. And I feel like this would appeal to more people because it's like not as like old school, if you get what I'm trying to say. I'm getting summer, but I would also wear this in the winter too. So I think this is a year round scent. Absolutely in love with this. So far, these two right here are speaking to my soul and are giving me what I need. So definitely get these two. And last but not least, we have Guess Seductive Noir. And this was $12.99 from TJ Maxx. So the reason why I got this is because I heard from YouTube Everything is literally from YouTube. I'm telling you, I've been up watching these perfume videos, okay? Somebody said this was a dupe for some perfume. I don't remember if it was like a, Ver I think it was a Versace, Versace Crystal Noir, if there's such a thing, a Versace Crystal Dark, something along the lines of that. I've heard that this is a dupe for that perfume. So I, I don't know what that perfume smells like, but we're just gonna see if this one smells good. I hate when your face is itchy, but you have makeup on, so you just have to do this like weird tapping thing, but I need to scratch. We have top notes of sage, bergamot, peony, middle notes of iris, jasmine sambac, and lily of the valley, base notes of vanilla, Haitian vetiver, and velvet. Mmm. This smells like... This smells like hairspray. This smells like hair products, but in a good way. Not in a weird way. This literally smells like hair products. I'm getting some sort of cashmere type of cozy, warm, dark type of vibes from this perfume. I'm getting main antagonist in some sort of soap opera or television show. I'm getting the other woman vibes from this perfume, if that makes sense. I'm getting mistress. I'm getting, let's get a little more spray. This is giving mistress. This is giving um, pretty neighbor who lives next door, who my husband has kind of been looking at a little too long lately. So I have to keep my eye out on her. That's what I'm getting with this perfume. Out of all the scents I tried today, I'm gonna have to give it up for J Lux by Jennifer Lopez. And honestly, honorable mention to this um, Nirvana Rose right here. These right here are just the business. You wanna blind buy something, definitely go for this J Lux. I, I honestly don't think anybody could hate this perfume. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you'll have to let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried any of these perfumes because I would love to know what you think about all of these scents. 
Again, J Lux is gonna have to be my favorite out of this haul. We'll see for next time though. So make sure you're subscribed so you can always be notified every single time I post. And if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it, you know, that algorithm is kind of tricky. So I need people to, I need people to see what I'm doing over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.